welcome. Uh, welcome to the first episode of a podcast or self, whatever you want to call it, um, featuring just me and an alcoholic beverage. In this case, I got a Guinness because it's my favorite drink. So. So this is going to be called um, De Crescendo, which for anybody that doesn't understand music, um, De Crescendo is something where the music starts to get quiet and so on and so forth. Um, the opposite of that would be Crescendo, where everything gets louder. So um, I'm going to call this, this series um, De Crescendo. And basically what it's going to be is me just talking and whatnot about what's going on in my, my week, what's going on in my head currently, so on and so forth. Um, it's more so going to serve as a very public journal. Um, I've tried journaling before and it's just, I don't know, it doesn't work for me. So <clears throat> I figured we'll give this a shot and see what happens. It's more so just going to be for my own mental health and whatever. If you want to listen to it and you know, comment along, cool. If not, you know, all the more power to you. So, uh, anyway, something that's been on my mind a lot lately um, is just realistically my own mental health. Um, back I think in July, yeah, July, um, I actually started actually even before that a couple of years ago i started seeing um, a, new, a, a doctor specifically for the reason for um, depression anxiety and uh, stuff like that i was put on some medications and and um uh, selexa being number one the first one i started with i'm still on it and it's been working um, gradually increased the dose and all that stuff and it's actually helped a lot, I'd say. Um, and then this past July, I uh, different things changes both in my mental health and, and uh, on my uh, just regular physical health, I'd say. Um, started a couple of different medications. So it's hard to say whether uh, psychiatric medications are doing their thing or if I was just something else was causing an issue and now that I'm on a medication for it whatever but anyway I started seeing um, a psychiatrist who took over the medication side of things for my mental health depression anxiety um, increased the selexa some more and we also started most recently on Shatira which is for ADHD which I, I'd say is significant don't get as sad as I used to and uh, I don't wake up I don't want to you know, spend most of the day in bed like I used to um, my favorite thing to say is if I didn't have my dogs then I'd probably just lay in bed all day um, prior to medication simply because I just had no ambition and any of that so but uh yeah like I'm, I'm I feel like I'm happier and I, it's a combination of like some just some physical health issues that I had and medication and stuff like that. But altogether, I do feel happier and stuff. So I'd say that's working and I feel more ambitious and I'm just excited to do things and I want to go out and try new things and all this stuff. Um, but the one thing that's been on my mind now lately, and I don't think there's there's any med medication. I, it's not even I don't think I know that there's no medication that's going to fix this. This is just me having to talk with professional about it and trying to understand the root of the issue and working through it and the issue that I'm facing now is my inability to and I don't even know how to word it correctly my inability to stay in a relationship um, if that makes sense so, I'm almost like I'm 29 years old. I've, I've never really been in a long-term relationship. I've had a few flings here and there, um, 
but nothing really, really ever stuck. And without getting into too much detail about it, I think that there's really two relationships where I really was like into this girl, into this person, and into that person at the time. And, and just because of the trauma that they caused, I think that that's guarding me from wanting or it's not even wanting it's it's preventing me from trying to stay with a relationship with someone new if that makes sense i hope it does <clears throat> um so what i mean by that is i'll start talking with someone new everything will be going good and then all of a sudden I I, I, I wake up one day and I just, I, I become distant and I, I know that it's going to happen and all this stuff and I just don't know how to prevent it. And I think it's just it's something inside of me guarding me because of past, excuse me, past traumas from these previous relationships that are preventing me from continuing, continuing on with someone new. It's a completely new person that I'm chatting with. You know, there's no reason for me to be scared of any whatever that's going to happen. Um, but I, I, at the end of the day, I just end up guarding myself because I've I've been quite low. You know, when I, when I give my all to these two specific specific people at the time and you know I just I ended up getting hurt and it, it just and so now I think that at the end of the day I just expect that you know that it's just a norm that's going to happen for me and I know it's not but somewhere deep inside of me it, it you know that's just ingrained that this is what's going to happen so uh, I don't know how to get over that I plan on bringing it up with my psychiatrist this week when I see her. Um, I'm hoping that she can either she can help me with it or she can recommend some talk therapy, um, psychiatrist, psychologist, whatever, counselors that can help me work through that and you know, get it to a point where I am I'm over it and I'm and I can actually. be with someone because that's what I want I want a family someday I'm tired of I, I, I'm tired of coming home to an empty house yes I have my dogs and yes I love them to death and yes they're my best friends but nothing beats just you know having that special someone to come home to it's really what I'm looking for right now then there's the other side of it that you know maybe but I, I do think about this quite often, and I wish that there was a, a way of deciding, like just knowing. It takes a lot of energy to find someone, especially with this day and age. Of dating, you know, I've tried a dating app. I'm actually banned on Twitter, not Twitter, Tinder. Banned on Tinder as of recently, and I have no idea why. No idea why. They don't give a reason. They just say, "Hey, you're banned." Did a couple. I never did anything inappropriate. Couple things that I'm questioning as to maybe that's why I'm banned. I'm just thinking that maybe it thinks that I was a bot, like or you know whatever. So I just banned me. Um, just location-based thing. Nothing crazy, but I've tried Tinder multiple times. I've tried Bumble, Bumble, Bumble multiple times, and I've met people on. I've met fantastic people on there. I'm still friends with a lot of them. It's just. Because of my own issues, I it just never came to fruition with it. But anyway, I, I I also wonder if maybe I'm just one of those people that's destined to be alone. Which, like I said, I wish there was there's not, but I wish there was some way of knowing that. Because then I could just put all that energy. I, I would you know be like, well, that's just the way it is. And 
put all that energy into other things, other ventures. So, yeah, So that's where I'm at with that. That's like the biggest thing that I'm kind of on my mind as a present. Um, the other thing that I think would be any sort of mental distress is just my job. Anyway, there's actually I just thought of something else that's bothering me, but <clears throat> finish with my thought with my job. But uh Most everybody knows I work as a fireman. Um, and I I've been quite active in a volunteer and career capacity in some respect. Um, or in the emergency services field for 10 years at this point, probably over 10 years. I think 2012 is when I got, when I first started. So, yeah, 10 plus years. I could go back. Like, at first, I really enjoyed it, helping people, you know, whatever. I really enjoyed it. And if I could go back, I would tell myself at that point to take my breaks and not, you know, just be so gung ho and run every call that I could because at the end of the day, it really took a toll on me. At this point in my life, I'm 20, like I said, I'm 29 years old, and I'm just tired of it. Like at the end of the day, I'm just tired of it. Like I have no desire to go to work anymore. I have no desire to deal with patients anymore. I have no desire. The number one thing is I just have no desire to deal. Not even deal. I just have no desire to be around on what is other people's the people that call me worst day in their life you know whether it's a medical issue or something like they're, they're, they just lost their house in a fire you know I, I've seen enough of that and it's taken a toll on me and I just I, I have I'm burnt out from it and I don't want to experience it anymore that's why I got into the real estate because you know one the number one reason I got into real estate, I'd say, is because it's a different change of pace, and I kind of do my own thing. I'm my own boss, essentially, and I get to see the happier side of people. I get to... Buying a house, you know, unless it's like you're a real estate investor, most people only buy a handful of houses in their life. And buying a house is the number one biggest investment that you will make in your life. helping someone find that perfect home and you know the dream home so on and so forth is it it's it's, it's fun 
granted I haven't done it as of this, as of recording this, but I know it's going to be great because it's exciting time for them, you know? But yeah, I, 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 I hate to say it, but I basically just go to work now for a paycheck. I still got bills to pay, and I dream of the day that I can quit. But that's, as of right now, that's not even in, in the field of view. So. But I'd say the other thing that I have the other thing that I'm struggling with a lot lately too is, is just making friends or just reconnecting with old friends. You know, I have a handful of friends now that I enjoy spending time with and I chat with regularly, but at the end of the day I just I, at the end of the day I'm still just by myself. I feel like it's just me and I try I really do try to be to offer myself up and offer to do things with other people and so on and so forth to just or I'll reach out to classmates and stuff like or, you know whatever just old acquaintances old friends and try to reconnect and try to whatever okay bud okay bud Axel. What's the matter? Lay it down, baby. Probably didn't hear that Axel just. Oh, maybe it was yawning. Were you yawning? Huh? Were you yawning? Very well, but I'm yawning. He likes to lay on my landing on the stairs. Yeah. Oh, shit. He almost spilled my beer. reach out to people just trying to extend friendship and at the end of the day you know it's just like it, it, it gets shot down which I don't know it, it just happens so much now that my mind leads me to believe that there's something wrong with me which I'm, I'm sure at the end of the day there's not and it's just you know the voices inside my head not that I'm crazy but the, you know whatever saying that wrong with me and people just don't like me and I'm more socially tolerated um, so that's just kind of my, my mindset as of lately I really do try to be a decent guy and I really do try to treat people as, as the best that they can be want to like stress that I am okay like, um, I'd say with over out of the past five years my mental health as a whole is is better than it has been in a long time but there are just these things that I struggle with um, I'm just tired of feeling alone is I'm just tired of feeling alone. Feeling like even though I have a handful of friends and a handful of, you know, whatever, I, I'm still just me, myself, and I in this giant rock floating in space. You know? Like I said, I'm gonna bring it up to my psychiatrist this week and see what she has to say about it. So yeah, that's the first. That's just something I wanted to get off my chest and put out there. People will probably say I'm crazy for putting this issue out there, but I'm quite an open book and I just have no problem. I really want to. I, I my hope is to kind of put a spotlight on mental health for everybody and put it out there so that not such a 
a uh, taboo thing to talk about. Because it's not. It really shouldn't be. People struggle. And we really should be. People really should feel like they have some sort of outlet to talk about anything. Whatever it is. Yeah.